300 million bucks. That's what Al Gore is spending in an advertising blitz to raise awareness about global warming. But John Rutledge says it's a complete waste of money. Why, John? Well, I would call it a $300 million boondoggle, David, but boondoggles are harmless. This actually does harm. Mark my words, we will one day have a Gorgate set of hearings. It's a terrible investment, but Gore's buddies are going to make hundreds of millions of dollars out of this. Already in China, there's a former UN official on the lam, and China and Russia are booking big dollars off of carbon credit trading. The laws these guys want would drive three billion people back into poverty. That's just cruel. The science is terribly shoddy. This is politics and money, not science. Next week, I'm the opening speaker at the Boal Forum, which is uh, 15 Asian governments talking about sustainable okay. growth. The answer is scientists, not Al Gore. That's where we're going to have... Right. Lacey, uh, before uh, we start instituting these, uh, these carbon credits mm -hmm. that are going to cost billions of dollars, we should make sure we get the facts right. I think the facts are there. I think the science is there. I think this is a really good investment. I think what Al Gore understands here is that in order to have people change their ways, you have to educate them on why those ways need to be changed. So while I think investing in green technology is important and people will continue to because there's money to be made there, you know, actually educating them and investing and mystifying this movement is really okay. important. Well, it's a great deal for Al Gore, who stands to make hundreds of millions of dollars on this, but is it good for everybody else, Bill? I think the American public is back badly in need of environmental awareness. And I'd like to see a $290 million campaign to educate people about the horrors, the environmental horrors of corn ethanol. <laughs> this stuff <Jeez>. depletes <laughs> groundwater, erodes the soil, causes huge environmental energy waste, and indirectly causes the raising, the burning of forests in Borneo. Well, we can have Let's a whole educate segment people. on ethanol, and I think Quentin might even agree, but Quentin, we're talking about Al Gore's plan. What do you think? Oh, I'm with that. You know, let's, let's get some perspective here. For starts, $300 million is probably what the little Debbie Corporation spends advertising its scrumptious dessert products. It's just not that much money. And far less than coal companies and oil companies and car companies and right-wing think tanks will tell you, don't worry, be happy. You want to worry about science? Okay, let's publicize the science. The science in favor of global warming is like five to one what the antis are. And if this generates some new technologies, I'm all for it. Victoria, what do you think? Do we really need to market green at this point? I mean, honestly, you can't walk a block in San Francisco without being bombarded with some kind of green or eco message. Maybe that's just where San me Francisco and is live, not the whole of the country, Vic. Yes, but Quinn, you know that to, to Gore's credit, he has made put green on the agenda already. Every other commercial on national television has some kind of right. eco message. And, and Lacey, even, even the Chinese, who have been very reluctant to get into Kyoto, are now manufacturing all these solar panels. Why don't we just let the free market handle it? I think it? what you've seen here, you know, Victoria ha has a point, but the truth is they're just buzzwords. You know, global warming has become a buzzword. There's no, I mean, in terms There's a of lot of action. Change, what are you saying? There's I, I a lot of action in terms of the market solutions. People don't understand that there, there's no real sense of urgency right now. They don't understand how they're going to solve it. That's what this I is I don't know. That when, when you can it. make as much money as these Chinese solar companies this make, I think awareness. that's urgency, Bill. They are getting rich. That is a good thing. How about if we took $10 million of that $300 million and spent it on a website that would allow you to track Al Gore's carbon footprint?